Okay, now we are going to use the restaurant order data set to do these merges. So let's look at what the challenge is. So if we look at orders, which is the data set that has 2 million rows in it, as you can see here, you see that both restaurant ID and then main, base, side one, side two are all um, using these mnemonics, right? So we don't have the full name of the restaurant and we don't have the full name of the meal. Now, where is that information? Well, the items, the full name is here, okay? So Pharaoh with summer vegetables, Pharaoh with summer vegetables, I7, I7. And then the restaurant names are here in restaurants, okay? So restaurant ID R1001, right? It's Columbia, here's the address, okay? So if you go here, R1001. And so what we wanna do is we want to add all of these names to a single table, and that way we can do analysis fully understanding what the items and restaurant names are. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the restaurant name. So we're combining orders and then from DF restaurants, all we need is the ID and the name, okay? And then we're combining based on restaurant ID. So it will look up both, you know, restaurant IDs and match them. And then we're gonna do a left join, okay? We're gonna do a left join because we want everything in orders to be included. We don't want to drop any orders. So even if somehow there isn't a match, we want to still include the orders and just have a blank for a restaurant name. Okay, and then we're going to call this name restaurant name. So we go ahead and run this. Okay, and then we see here on the right hand side, we have our new column, restaurant name. And let's just double check that. So this first one is R1002. So if we go up here to R1002, we see that its name is Midtown. The name is Midtown and that's, we've done it right. Now we wanna add the name of the main dish. Okay, we're gonna add the name of the main dish. So this time we add the restaurants, which we just created. We go to items and now we're gonna match using the same thing, but they're named it differently, okay? So in res, the main is called main right here, okay? But in items, it's called the item ID. So we're matching main to item ID. And again, we wanna keep everything in the original orders with the new restaurants now, so we're going to do a left join. And then we're just going to rename to main name. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. Okay, and you see main name here. Now, notice that item ID was added. That's because everything in the second table is actually added. Previously, you didn't see that because it already existed, right? So here, restaurant ID, it already exists. So when it's added, nothing happens. But here, item ID is added since it actually did not exist in the DF res table. And so now we're just going to drop that, okay? So at the very end, we just drop that column so that we now have a clean data frame. So here it is again, we go all the way to the right and you see that now we have the name of the restaurant and the name of the main. Okay, now we wanna calculate what the most popular bowls are, okay? So we use our value counts and we plot in a bar. So we're using main name, we're getting the value counts and then we're plotting in a bar, okay? So what we see is that the most popular main is charred chicken market bowl, right? So this is the analysis that we can do. If we had done this on the original data set, we would just have gotten an item number here like I7 and no one would have known what we are talking about. And so that's why combining the data sets is so powerful and is useful for analysis.